Which of these knitting items do you think were confiscated by TSA on my last flight? Hi guys, I'm Kristen and welcome to Studio Knit. This is a little game I like to call the TSA Travel Challenge for Knitters. This is a great time to travel and I'm sure you would love to knit your favorite project on your next flight. So let's take a look at all of the allowed knitting tools. But first, I'm super excited to let you know today's video is being sponsored by Best Beans. Some of my favorite YouTubers were playing this game and it has become my new go-to travel obsession when I need a little break from knitting. <laughs> Best Fiends is a free puzzle adventure game where you collect and build a team of fiends to defeat slugs by matching same colored objects. Hmm, I wonder, do you think TSA allows us to pack actual slugs? So, you know, when I need a break from my knitting, this game is perfect for long travel because time totally flies by as I try to level up. Today, I am on level 41. So try to beat me and tell me what level you are on. This month, you can play the Easter Easter egg challenge where you win amazing and rare rewards. If you beat all 16 challenges, you'll win the all new bunny character. So download this game for free. I have a link down in the description below. And if you download now, you will get $5 worth of gold and diamonds for free. I'm pretty sure that's virtual gold and diamonds. So it was this cute little yarn cutting pendant that got confiscated. I suppose they do not appreciate weaponized jewelry. I feel like a superhero with it, being able to cut yarn with this little pendant on my necklace. Uh, but I learned my lesson. Now, none of these rules are hard and fast, and they often change, especially with a TSA agent's disposition that day. So let's look at the ways to maximize the opportunity that we will be able to carry these knitting tools onto our plane. Now, luckily, knitting needles are totally fine. The preferred knitting needles are plastic or wood over metal, and even better are circular needles. Now, there's no length limit. However, when it comes to tools, TSA seems to prefer any tool under seven inches. And if you can knit with really short needles, that's great. You know, circular needles are perfect as well. They really seem to treat those less like daggers if a vampire happens to be on the plane. And you can knit with circular needles exactly as you do with your straight needles. So that is a really good bet, especially with these really cute bamboo circular needles. I'll have links down in the description below to everything I'm sharing with you. Now scissors, yes, you actually can carry scissors. If you want to be super safe, you could bring nail clippers, um, but you also could bring these cute little scissors. They prefer scissors to be four inches in length or less and to be very considerate to your TSA agent. It is preferred to wrap the pointy edges of any tools that you're bringing so that they don't accidentally poke themselves. <laughs> um, now yarn, okay. Yarn, you can bring any kind of yarn you want. Basically, um, weight restrictions are really the only thing that hold me back from packing as much yarn as I possibly can. And I always like to put it in plastic and then into a little travel bag because if it's being handled, I really don't like the idea of other people touching my yarn. <laughs> And little tapestry needles as well are totally fine. Just make sure that they're packed in something that will not poke them at all. <laughs> Again, TSA rules can often change. Now, if you want to be super prepared, do not pack anything that has great sentimental value or is super expensive. You could also bring a self-addressed stamped envelope and uh, like a padded envelope. And then if anything, like my little pendant does get confiscated, you can slip it into that, mail it back home. So whether it is a quick little island hop or a long international flight, I hope you feel a little bit more prepared to board your flight with appropriate knitting tools that are totally allowed on your plane. And if you are playing Best Fiends, let me know down in the comments below. I am obsessed and <laughs> it is a really great break from your knitting. So go check it out. Thanks so much for watching guys and happy travels.
Bye! I always do that. <laughs>